Hey guys, thanks for watching Blaine County Survivor Man. Hey guys, today on Blaine County Survivor Man, I'm going to make us a, a survival fro. A fro is something that the old timers used to use, and some of these uh, homesteaders still use to make shingles for the roof, or just splitting uh, boards out of a log. So I'm going to make us a survival fro out of this piece of steel right here. It's going to be approximately 8 inches long when I get done. And I'm going to show you how to forge it on this edition of Wayne County Survivor Man. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. First thing we got to do here is get that piece of metal hot so we can form the eye on it. The eye is going to be about probably an inch and a half to two inches wide. I'm going to turn the power up on that thing just a little bit so we can see it. This thing is about uh, a little over a quarter of an inch thick and uh, I don't remember just exactly what this stock is. I've had it for a long time. I'm going to let it heat up there and then I'll show you how to start forging the end of it out. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to Tap the end of it out there just a little bit. This thing's not going to be a real long bar. So I want to uh, upset the end of it just a little bit. back there and let it get hot. Okay guys, here we go. I want to upset the end of that bar. Just a little bit. So that when we go to forge weld it, we can flip that around there and forge weld it. Hey guys, that's how you start your eye. Okay? Bring it down over the corner of your anvil. That's how you start it. See what I upset this part so when I bring it around here it'll butt into that thing and still be thick and weld pretty good. So you see how that just makes that natural curve just by hammering it. Okay guys here we come back out of the fire again and uh see you start to form that around that thing. And the horn of the anvil. I'm going to want that forge weld to be just a little bit wider right there than the rest of that metal. That's the way it looks right now. There's how you form that eye, guys, or that's how I do it. That look like to you guys. Now we gotta forge well that thing together.
Guys, what I'm doing there is heating up the bar to length there. I'm going to cut it off to make that thing more manageable now since I've got the eye formed. So I'll show you how to cut it off this in a second. And guys, we'll clear this thing off on the hot heart. Okay guys, what I'm going to do is bring that eye up to a red heat, then I'm going to flux it, and then I'm going to see if I can forge weld it. Hey you guys, I'm a water brush or what I've done with it. Get all that scale off that thing, but if you don't, This ain't going to weld, okay? Now, what I've done here, you get that in there so you can see it. That washes all the scale away, just like if you're welding with a regular welder. Hope you guys can see that. It's 20 mule team borax. Okay. Now we'll put her right back in the forge. Bring her up to the welding heat. Right there it is. It's come up to the welding heat. And go for one more heat. Hey guys, <coughs> I've got it forged welded up and uh, turned out pretty good. I think I'm going to make this particular one right here seven inches long. And that'll be seven inches from the, the uh, back of the eye right over here right there and I'm going to put a 45 degree angle on this thing I'll right, cut it off Now just to save time on the, on this video right here, I'm going to take a hacksaw, which is, that's exactly what a, a blacksmith would do anyway. Let's take a hacksaw and cut that off. Now guys, the next step is I'm going to chamfer the edge right here after I've cut that off. And the reason I'm not going to hammer that out is because for the sake of this video, I could chamfer it out on this video, but this video is getting to run a whole, you know, a pretty long time. So I'm going to go ahead and just take an angle grinder and I'm going to grind we're chamfer for the edge of that thing right there. Put a handle in it, and I've got myself a survival for it. All right, you all. That's what it's looking like. And what I'm doing now is I'm gonna cool it in oil. Cool that edge down slow. It'll also give it a nice, uh, uh, hand forged old timey look at that, that oil will just sink right into that metal and that'll just about make it rust proof Guys here's the finished product. I'm gonna tell you this is this project right right here took me three and a half hours from start to finish videoing and and trying to get it on video and hammering and heating but there's the finished product It's not actually perfect But I took and uh, whittled me a handle out by the way 
just uh, wiggle your handle out wider at the bottom end so that when you're hammering the thing will just get tighter on the bottom and all we do all we're doing is we're taking this to the woods instead of using our knife to chop killing wood with if we don't need to watch this that's what a froze made for guys guys make yourself one of these things let me know how it turns out and thanks for watching Bland County Survivor Man. That's another tip from Bland County Survivor Man. Have a nice day.